one of the many challenges uh, conservatives have is to keep engaged. Traditionally, after an election, uh, well, before the election, conservatives get engaged and they contribute and they work and they, you know, uh, make phone calls, lick <laughs> the envelopes, put the stamps on them, and, and they do all the, the grunt work. And then they have a big celebration, hopefully, uh, election night, and then they go back into their communities. They go back into their pews and back to their, uh, their offices, and they forget politics. Uh, but the lobbyists haven't forgotten politics. They're showing up at 8 o'clock in the morning, another one at 8.30, another one at 9.15. And everyone, no exception, wants to grow government, more regulation, more, uh, more uh, government, more government money spent for uh, their business or industry. Uh, and uh, so what uh, hopefully will happen here is the Tea Party people will stay engaged. I mean, there, there's energy that I haven't seen in my 50 years of politics before. So what I tell uh, the Tea Party people, uh, conservatives, uh, have a wonderful election night, sleep late the next morning, breakfast in bed, read the papers, enjoy yourself. In the afternoon, get about the business of taking over the Republican Party. And uh, we had a, a, a wonderful uh, groups uh, 230 years ago here in America, the Sons of Liberty, the Minutemen, Committee of Correspondence, and without them we wouldn't have had America. Uh, they were the uh, equivalent of the Tea Party now. But if all they had done was in essence stay in the streets and demonstrate, uh, fight the British, we'd have never had America. At some point you had to move out of the streets and into the offices and organize the government and, and be part of the government. And that's what we have to do now as Tea Party people. We have to move into the Republican Party and, uh, and take over the Republican Party at the precinct level, county, state, and national level. And that uh, is plenty enough to occupy us throughout 2011, 2012. Uh, we need to follow the advice I gave in 2010, which was it's the primaries, stupid. It is the primaries. And it, when that wave uh, comes in here uh, in a couple of weeks, if all it does is sweep in big government uh, country club Republicans, uh, ruling class Republicans, we've wasted the opportunity of a lifetime. I think the same thing in 12, a wave will sweep uh, many of these Democrats out. We need to make sure we've nominated the right people.